Okay, great. So, hello everybody. Welcome to this special call that we have today. This is not the typical roundtable, so we have something else. We have the presentation by two outreach interns that we've been having since last December when they joined um, to work on the project that is called the Galaxy Mentoring Network. They've been mentored by Asunta and Berenice. Um, I guess that they can start sharing their progress. You will be impressed. It's just a spoiler. Okay. Thank you, Beatrice. Thank you so much. I am Chinoy against Neil French from Nigeria, a user experience designer, and I'm here with Ramot, products manager, and we've been working on this project, Galaxy Mental Network, for the past two months, since December, under the mentorship of Asunta and Bernie. And we are here to present what we've done so far, and um, what we have left to do. Asunta, please oh, share the screen. Thank you. So Galaxy Mental Network, mentorship for you. Next about Galaxy Mentor Mental Network. Galaxy Mental Network program is an initiative by the Galaxy community to help our members grow in open source projects and um, become more proficient in Galaxy and the use of Galaxy tools and servers. And as much as possible, be able to to carry out their projects, their open source projects, open source contributions without um, so much troubles. Next. Now, what roles are involved in the, the GML program? We call it GML program for short, it's Galaxy Mentor Network Program. We have the GMNT, who are the Galaxy Mentee, and these are community members who have projects or who want to learn how to contribute to open source projects, who also um, probably have a project and they need help navigating the Galaxy ecosystem. They need help um, transitioning probably from one aspect of Galaxy to the other. We have several channels in Galaxy. We have several communities in Galaxy. So someone could want to transition from the developers group to probably the Galaxy trading network to probably maybe to um, produce a course or a training material. So the person can also sign up as a Galaxy mentee. We have G mentors, the Galaxy mentors who are experienced community members who are topic-based experts, um, experienced community members, like I said, community leaders and um, mentors, as many people as possible who are um, willing to guide our mentees, who are willing to guide other members to navigate the Galaxy ecosystem, to learn the Galaxy servers and the Galaxy tools, to also uh, carry out their own projects and um, contributions to open source projects. And we have the network managers who would be in charge of overseeing the welfare of our G mentees and our G mentors, they'll be taking care of our pairs, our network pairs, and making sure that the program runs smoothly. Next slide. Okay, how does it work? Now, this program is running on an open enrollment basis. It's not running on cohort based because we have several people coming into the Galaxy community daily or regularly, let's use the word regularly. We have several people coming into the Galaxy ecosystem regularly with projects, PhD students, and um, um, as many people as possible, analysts, and so on. So we are leaving this program to be run on open enrollment basis such that mentees and mentors can apply at any time of need and they don't have to wait till probably a next cohort or they can get um, attended to. So the first thing is they'll have to fill the form, the GMNTs to fill the application form. The network manager will review the GMNTs application form. And then the GMentor will choose a GMNT. We are running a hybrid matching system where both the network manager and the GMentors would review the applications. And then the GMentor will choose a GMNT based on similar interests, expectations, goals and skill sets. And the network manager will send matching emails and then 
the mentorship program begins for the pair. So um, Ramot will be taking the next few slides and the demo. Ramot. Yeah, thank you so much, Noye. So hi, everyone. I am Ramat Afalabi. I'm a product manager, as she know I've said earlier. So um, before I continue, I really need to say this. I will not be able to show my face. I hope you don't mind. Yeah, thank you. So next slide, please, Asunta. Okay, yeah. So these are uh, these are the ex um, the expectations, our expectations from the gym mentors in the program. The first one is uh, we expect our um, our mentors to participate in the matching process by choosing a mentee from the list of accepted uh, gym mentees, like what um, Chino you just said now. And secondly. We, uh, we expect all our mentors to attend the onboarding meetings, which the network manager will also be part of. And thirdly, we expect our mentors to commit for a period of two months, a minimum of 30 minutes of biweekly meetings. So the mentors and the, and the mentee also like meet like every, every two weeks to have meetings to talk about the progress of the, um, of the goals they are both working on, like how far they've gone. So we have that. And also, we also expect our mentors together with their mentee to set the goals they want to achieve uh, during the mentorship program. And also we expect our mentors to help, um, help us track the progress by filling out the possession forms, the uh, mid program uh, feedback form, and also the, the end of program feedback form. And uh, also for, for, most of, for our mentors to get the most out of the mentorship program, we expect them to leverage the resources that will be provided for them. And these resources are not limited to, uh, we have the tips for successful mentoring, pro, uh, successful mentoring. We also have the, uh, the note taking templates. We also have the videos that provide uh, useful insights on how to successfully mentor someone, especially for those that are just you know, mentoring for the first time. So next slide, please. Next slide, please. Hi, Asunta. Am I audible? Yes, we can hear you, but maybe you don't see that the slides are changing. No, I can't say it. Uh... So which one do you see now? Okay, okay, yeah, I can say it now. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so um, okay, so why we expect all that from the gym mentors? Our gym mentors we also gain a lot from the program, and uh, so this is why you should be a, a gym mentor or why you should apply as a gym mentor today. So the first one is uh, there will be opportunity to demonstrate and develop leadership and communication skills. And secondly, you get recognition and acknowledgement for guiding other members of the community, which means uh, um, will be displaying in your profile on our website. So for everyone visiting the website, they get to see your, your image and also the bit information about you. And also, there will also be opportunity to share knowledge, expertise, and experience with other community members. And also, as this saying goes that uh, we rise by lifting others. So there is this, um, so I think, uh, I think that is so true. So because our mentors will be able to reinforce their knowledge by guiding the members of the community, which we in, which we in turn leads to growth and lastly, we'll be providing all our mentors recommendation letter. So you can always request for recommendation letters whenever you need it. So I think it's time to, to visit the website and see how far we've gone. Like, they just play around the world. So Asante, thank you. Okay, yeah, so this is our website, the Galazim Mental Network website. This is our home page. And there we have the um, we have the nav bar. So now remember the major thing we have there is the about. We have the about, we have the guides, we have the FAQ, we have the network, 
and we also have the blog. So under the network, that the network session is to display all our participants and also the, pro, the project they are working on and why they are about to give us more information about the, the project, the project as a GMN. And also the guides, we have the guides for the application guide and also the, the mentorship guideline there. And we have the FAQ, we need more information about the program, you can always go there. And uh, besides that, if you need any question, I think I'll always reach us to either uh, Asunta or Berenice. Um, definitely, we'll also be having a channel, like a matrix channel where you can always contact us. And also, we have an email where you can send us an email if you have more questions. So I'll just run through the website. This is the home page. We have the apply now. That's the first thing we have there. So, GMN mentorship for you. So we have that. Then we also have our core value. So I think if you click that button, it should redirect you to the form, yeah, to the application form. Then, um, yeah. Can you just first try that, the application form? Okay, yeah. So you need to choose, are you applying as a mentor or a mentee? So you choose that, then it should direct you to the, uh, yes. So there are questions, so you just have to fill that. Actually, we also have the templates so that you can fill out the question, you can answer the question, then you just come in and transfer them into this form. So we have the templates of the form as well under the application guideline. Okay, so please can you go back to the website? Okay, so the application guideline that's under the guides, select application guideline. Okay, the guide. Okay, so you scroll down to how to apply. Then we see the templates, the application templates for both mentor and mentee. So you can always click that and you know just answer the questions. You can answer the question in the doc or any test editor app that you're using or that you're familiar with. Then you can later transfer it to the form. So want to make sure that everything is, you know, is very, very easy for you. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. <clears throat> so we go back to the home page just to like go around and see everything. Six. Okay. So, yeah. So this is the home page. So we have. These, these are our core values, the community, the collaboration, and also the growth. Yeah, these are the three main things that, you know, when we are working on this project, these are the three main things that we have at heart. So the, it is based from gallery community, it is at our center. So we have the members, the members of the gallery community at our heart when working on this project, and also collaboration. So. It is founded and sustained by the pillars of collaboration. And uh, lastly, growth. So we expect growth, want more people to grow with Galazo. So, and we have a bit about the program, which you can learn more. When you click the learn more button, it automatically redirects you to the About Us page. So it's, it's functional. Yeah. Okay. So then we have the program highlights. Okay, so we have the program highlights. Just please, can you scroll down, repeat? Is it just from my hand? Mister, please, can you scroll down a bit? Yeah. Down the remote. Okay, 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 yeah. Thank you. So we have the program. So this is how the program works. We have just, it's just two month program, mentoring program. So you start the first week is just introductory meeting where you meet the mentor, the mentee, and also the network manager will be there, you know, to help you get, you no know, get started, you no know, help you with, um, with tips and everything to get, uh, you no know, to get started. And the following week, uh, that's the week two, we have the, uh, G, the, men, the, the, the mentors and the gym mentee meetings where you reach out to your, you talk about the goals and everything, how far with the 
with the with the goals, with the projects the mentor the mentee is working on. Then week three, we have um, we have nothing actually in week three. Then week four, we have another meeting in week four. Uh, sorry, this uh, this is not we've we've changed this. We've worked on this. So I think we are still, we haven't pushed that committee yet, so, but we've changed this. So week four we have, because it's going to be four or four meetings actually throughout the program with your mentor, with the mentee. So week four we have the, the G mentor and the G mentee. Okay, so week four we have the G mentor and the G mentee meetings. Then week five, we have the midweek feedback where we collect feedback from both the mentors and the mentees. And also week six, we have, there's another meeting between the mentors and the mentee. Then week seven, we have nothing actually there. And week eight, we have the end of program, you know, where you give us like testimonials, you give us feedback as well for the program. So that is how the programs work. So yeah, I think that's typically everything. So I think it's time for question. See if we have any question. So I, this is very cool. I, I really love the idea of uh, effectively matching mentees and mentors. Is there any plan to make this part of the primary Galaxy Hub? Um, galaxyproject.org or sorry um can you come in okay. Danny, please can you come in again with a question yeah sorry so so I, I love this idea and i and i think this is a great website and i i really love the idea of effectively uh matching mentors and mentees um, is there a plan to incorporate this into the primary Galaxy Hub, uh, you know, galaxyproject.org? Yes, definitely. Yes. Right. No, it will be linked from the hub and people can access this directly from the hub. Yes, definitely. Maybe just for something that is also related to the other outreach project, there is there will be another one that is the starter kits. And we plan to link these resources. So that would be in the hub mm -hmm. with all the things that are necessary for newcomers, maybe um, I mean, not regular newcomers from different disciplines, but also community leads. So they will have their a link to this um, Galaxy Mentoring Network so that everything is connected. Yeah, great. No, I, I love the idea and, and all the great work. But I also think that we should have that in a more prominent place in the hub. Yeah. Um, link from the starter kit, but also a special section, I think. So how many, how many applications do we already have? And can I sign up today already, or you are still planning to work on that? Okay, no, so no. we'll be dropping the link link in the chats right now, the link to the application form, so everyone can sign up right now. And we encourage everyone to do that. So we have the link there for mentors, for mentees, you can sign up right now. Thank you. So you have already a mentor manager, who's that? I'm worried about that person. <laughs> I need to do all the work on the back. Is there anyone? Taking care of that? Yes, we have our network managers, definitely Bernice, Asunta, and, and you. Ah, okay, good. <laughs> cool. Okay, so it's, it's, it's a word that can be shared between different people. Um, you yeah. mentioned something about having meetings every two weeks. How flexible is the program in general? So would you, because it might be that some people maybe need more meetings or less meetings? How flexible is that? Okay, the program generally is as flexible as possible. We understand how um, both mentees and mentors can be busy or how that task vary across different pairs. So the first minimum is where we kept it at, bi-weekly meetings, 
between G mentors and G mentees. But then it's not set out on stone based on the discretion of both G mentee and G mentor. They could see that definitely they need more time to meet. And there would also be uh, chats between them. We have creating the matrix chat channel for G mentors, for G mentees. So they'll all be in a chat channel and they can create their meetings. They can schedule meetings as often as they want. So it's as flexible as possible. And then we have the um, network manager checking in on them once in a while. Any questions for them? Sure. Um, yeah, maybe. Um, have you considered? I mean, is this program maybe also useful to do something kind of pair programming, so that we could also find maybe, um, yeah, kind of a relationship between mentor and mentee between two programmers, so that they can actually program on one code base. I don't know if that makes it sense or if you have discussed that, but with something like that possible, or could we actually maybe also use it and integrate that in our onboarding process? So let's say we have new team members. Would you advertise? I mean, would you encourage us to do that as well for really new team members that joining our team that we use this mentoring network maybe for that as well? Yes, actually, though we didn't really talk about peer programming, well, this is something that is possible with um, with the German mentoring program. So actually, it works. Yeah. So once you apply, just a, just a little that you have to apply. So once you apply, then you can you have the goals that you want to work on. So if the goal is like peer programming, you want to work on the same um, code base. Like you've said, it's possible. And like we said before, this is specifically for um, new newcomers, that's new members, and also people transitioning from one part of Galaxy to another. So if you're having new new team, like new team member, so it's very, very possible for the person to apply. And whoever is ready to mentor, the person can also apply as a mentor. So that's how it works. So it is very, very possible. Cool. We should propose that then to the PIs as well. Then. <laughs> Question? Yeah, I'm wondering can we apply in groups or is it like a one mentee is applying and be matched with one mentor or how does it work? Okay, yeah, you can apply in groups especially probably for communities or probably group uh, projects, you can apply in group. So you can send in an application and there's a question that, um, that covers that, how you'd want to be mentored. So if there's a group, choose that, and then the mentor will take note of that. So yes, it's covered in the application. Thank you. Are there more questions? Then maybe I have one for the audience, <laughs> especially the developers. There are many developers here. How do you think, I mean, do you think this is useful for you? Um, even when you've started already and you're working in the project or, I mean, uh, uh, Pierre mentioned already the case of people that are new to, uh, to the team and for onboarding people that would be very useful. But do you think it's also useful for people that are inside or would you like to participate? How do you feel about this? Marius, I see you. <laughs> yeah, no, I think it's a good idea. Um, you can hear me, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's a, it's a good idea. I think we really, really need this, get people up to speed. Um, I'm definitely going to, to join it. And I think, I mean, I, I guess just my, my main concern is like the projects, like, you know, I mean, I guess where are the projects coming from? This wasn't super clear to me. Like, I mean, 
I may have, you know, two or three projects that I think fall into the mentorable category. Um, but I see there's also some way that mentees can choose, so which makes sense too, but um, yeah. Right, uh, Ramot and Chinonje about who chooses the project, right? Is it the mentor or the mentee? Yeah, okay. So, so um, definitely, um, basis definitely is goals, expectations, and then we're taking note of skill sets. So, based on skills, you could be able to mentor across probably three to four different projects. So, the mentees may not all have projects, but if they do, they have to enter it in the application forms. And then during matching, any mentor who has the skill sets that the project requires can take on that mentee. Or in cases where a mentee doesn't have projects in mind, uh, mentors can suggest projects. Probably you have a project that you're currently running and then you can take on a mentee on that same project. For learning and um, sharing experience purposes too. Okay, thank you. Only any uh, Anne. I just have a question. So, if the mentors they have already a project, is it like publicly available? Like we have a list of projects people would like to uh, to get a mentee. So, as a as a mentee, you can browse already and pick up, or, or how does it work? Okay, well, um, it is not really a project per se. It is more of like goals, like what you intend to achieve, like uh, for instance, if you're a newcomer, like maybe just to navigate, um, let's say you want to create a training, a training material, for instance, so that can be a goal. So you just need somebody that will guide you and also um, give you feedback when creating a training material. So it's going to be more of goals and not projects. So we are not really having like you are going to contribute to this particular project. So it is more of goals, not not really projects like that. So we don't really have list of projects. But if you have anything that you want to do, there's nothing too small or too big, since as it's something that you know you're contributing to the galaxy community. So it's fine. Okay, and it is if this is the other way around, like uh, for instance, Marius would like to to help, and he can help on specific uh, topics. So it would set some goals or it's not goals in that sense this is more where he wants to help or, or where i want to help or something like that so is it like project where, where do i say i can help but i'm i would like to help on this specific uh, feature is there any mentee interested because i understood okay. this is possible no or maybe i understand i misunderstood okay uh, i think we have we have that covered in the application where our mentors can uh, put in areas of expertise. So they are more of areas of expertise than projects. So they put in their areas of expertise and then can be matched based on those areas of expertise because uh, a mentee may need someone who is into computational analysis or someone into bioinformatics. So based on such expertise, we have such matches. Sounds good. Thanks. So you have been mentored, right? So what was your experience? <laughs> OK. That's an amazing question. Okay. <laughs> yes, we've had mentors from uh, the contribution period. I think during our application, we that was when we um, got in contact with our mentors from the contribution period. And we must say that um, if not for their mentorship and their guidance, we would probably have found ourselves extremely lost in Galaxy ecosystem because the system is quite overwhelming. There's a lot going on. 
And we found the mentorship extremely helpful because we're able to find out, okay, this is how to start, this is where to go next, and this is how to continue. And even in this project, myself and my co intent we had no code bases and we've been able to come up with a site. And that's thanks to our mentorship, our mentors, Berenice and Asunta. So uh, it's been an amazing one. And I think Ramos will continue from here. Yeah, so <laughs> I, guess, I think, uh, you know, you have said most of the things there. So I think mentorship is really, really a good thing, actually for someone that is joining a, a community like Galaxy, you know, Galaxy is somehow like overwhelming or you know, joining for the first time, you know, finding your know, navigating the resources to use the community or uh, the channel to go to and all that. So there are so many things like you get to know. So, but with the help of the mentors, you can easily navigate all these things because you have their guidance. They can tell you this is the thing to do. This is the right resources for you. And that is what our mentors have been doing. Like Sheila said as well, you know, we have no coding experience. I haven't coded before. So, but uh, with the help of our mentors, we've been able to get the right resources no the share they provide resources tips everything that we need and and that was very very helpful in helping us you know come up with the websites. So I think mentorship should be for everyone, no matter the, the stage you have, because you know, we cannot just know it all, it all great. And that is what mentorship means. So it has been a issue. Yeah. Cool. Thanks a lot. Or concerns or something that you would like to discuss? I guess that's a no. Okay, so thank you, um, Chinonje and Ramot, for um, the presentation and for all the work on this month. Um, and thank you, everybody, for joining. We will put this recording public somewhere. And I hope that you join the mentoring network soon. The form is in the chat. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Okay, so okay, okay. So before we go, please, um, we want everyone to provide feedback on the website. You know, I think there are still a lot of things. So we are currently doing the usability testing. So we're going to share the link to the feedback form yet now. So help us go to the website and you know, just give us the feedback on what are the things that are missing or what we can do better. Thank you. Okay, thank you. For your presentation. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.